Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to hotspot on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. So all you need is a SIM card either physically connected to the computer or set up via eSIM. I haven't done this so I'll just be showing you the process in this tutorial. However, if you have a SIM card connected or an eSIM set up, you should be able to follow this tutorial and have everything working, no issues. So what I want you to do is I want you to open up settings. Then I want you to tap on connections and then you see right here mobile hotspot and tethering tap on this one and then you see right here blue uh, mobile hotspot and bluetooth tethering so bluetooth tethering essentially will allow you to hotspot with other devices via bluetooth this option is incredibly slow i do not recommend it instead you just want to tap on the mobile hotspot and you can see right here you have it off you just tap on the icon and it will turn it on now you can see right here network name this is the network name which will be shown in other devices wi-fi network page and you have the password and you have the band so what i want you to do is i want you to tap on configure and you can change the network name you can change the security type i recommend you have it at wpa2 um, that's uh, what most devices support however if you want more security you can always use wpa3 however less devices will be able to recognize this wi-fi network then you have the password you can set this to whatever you want you can keep it as it is and then you have the band right here now if you're using 2.4 gigahertz the maximum speed you'll get is around 50 uh, megabit per second if you have 5 gigahertz the speed is far higher couple of hundred megabit per second no issues at all this is from personal experience by the way um usually the numbers are higher than that but this is from using a hotspot personally that's the speeds i usually get with each wi-fi band and then we have the advanced and you can mess around with this stuff however hidden network essentially means that if you have a uh, device you would have to set up you know the ssid and the parcel manually it won't show up in the wi-fi networks page when you turn this on if you know how to do that support wi-fi 6 standards so some devices uh, may only support wi-fi 6 usually it's they support wi-fi 6 and wi-fi 5 i recommend you don't turn this on because there's no real point of it um and then you have protected management frames that doesn't really do anything and then power saving mode I'd recommend you turn that off and Wi-Fi sharing, show your Wi-Fi's connection. It's up to you, but I think you should turn it off. So what you do is if you made enough changes, so let's see if I just add a password real quick. You can see we just tap on save and then turn on your hotspot. And you can see for me, it does say no SIM card. However, for you, as long as you have a SIM card in, you can turn it on and boom, you have set up hotspot successfully. All you want to do is just stay on this page and then get your other device connect to the wi-fi it should show up in the wi-fi page if it doesn't show up because hotspot is kind of a bit glitchy just turn it off on again try again and eventually hotspot should be fully working without any issues so hopefully this video helped you out if it didn't make sure to smash like subscribe for brand new see you guys later check out my playlist with zfo free tips and tricks in the description and on the end screens bye bye